know, we talk a lot here on Morning Moments with Jesus about our life being a journey and how that journey is never complete unless you have Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I'd like to take a moment as we start today's devotion by asking each and every one that is listening this morning, do you have that personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? That is the single most important thing you will ever do in your life is to accept Jesus Christ. Because once you accept him, then the journey of your life is filled not only with the great things that that the Lord brings to us by saving us and delivering us, but it also provides you great warning signs along the way that lets you know if you are going in the right direction in your life, the decisions that you make, are they the best ones for your life? I always look at the journey that we go through as going down a highway and along that highway, you'll see certain signs. One may say a dangerous curve up ahead. One may say, you know, men at work or road construction. One may even say it's a dead end. But those warning signs are placed there for a reason. And that reason is, is that before you get to where the trouble is, that there is a sign warning you to either slow down or turn around. And our spiritual lives are no different than that. The Lord never puts us on a road that he does not give us signs of what lies ahead. That is the importance of going to the Lord in prayer and praying, as Paul said, in the spirit that we can discern the deep things of God. But what our problem is sometimes is we are looking too far one way or too far the other way and not keeping our eyes on the road that the Lord has for us. So in this journey, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 and 26, the Lord tells us even how to go down the road of life that he has for us. Listen to this word. Let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before you. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all your ways be established. In other words, be focused on where you are at the moment. Look around you and see what is actually happening in your life. Why are you at the job you're at? Why are you in the community that you're in? Why are you at the church family Uh, that you're worshiping at right now. Lord, why am I here in this moment? And along my journey, why do you have me here? And what do you want me to do while I'm here? God never places us in places that he doesn't give us warning signs. So as as we talked about yesterday, if there's decisions you have to make, if there's things you have to do in your life, Watch for the signs of God because he'll never let you down and he'll never let you go the wrong way. So I pray that day a blessing over your spiritual eyesight that your heart would be connected with him in such a way that no matter what path he has you on, that you will quit looking to the right or to the left or all around being distracted Nothing worse than a distracted driver. And there's nothing worse spiritually than a distracted believer on the road that God has for us. So be safe and be strong and be blessed today in the fact of knowing that God has directed your path. Just stay focused on that and continue to watch for the signs that God has placed before you. Maybe it's a word somebody speaks. Maybe it's a message you hear. Maybe it's even this morning moments with Jesus today that makes you say, Lord, I need to pull over and make sure my directions are true before I proceed to speak today, to walk today, to make a decision today, 
I need to make sure it's from you. I pray that blessing over you today. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Pray you have a blessed day. May God bless you. May God keep you. Just enjoy life. Enjoy the journey. But watch for the signs of God. Amen.